all, you're only a chicken. Where did you come from? And why are you spawning on wood? Come here. Hold on. Come here, buddy. There you go. Oh, you're a demon chicken. You're an evil chicken. Why are you attacking me? So what in the world is wrong with me? I mean, we're in a skyblock map. We have literally limitless space. <laughs> and we're crowding everything on this tiny little piece of crap island. I can't believe myself. We have the means to get as much wood as we need. And I have gone ahead and done this stuff here, which is giving us some stuff. So why? Oh, why? Oh, why am I sitting here with one tiny... I, I, I don't... I don't know what's wrong with me, but it is totally time to remedy this situation. Boz and Joe, buddy, you are right. The cooked apples are better. A lot better. We're going to run out of our apple juice, and then we're going to go to cooked apples exclusively because those are friggin' amazing. So thank you for that tip, and I don't know how to pronounce your name. Boz and Joe. B-O-S-N-J-O. I'm guessing it's Boz and Joe, but I don't know. Maybe you pronounce it differently because it means something. I have no idea. But thank you for that really. Now, today I wanted to do some stuff, okay? I wanted to get some resources. I wanted to do agriculture, but you can't really do that too well unless you go into the nether and mine a whole bunch of prosperity shards, which we probably are going to do at some point to get at least a few plants. Uh, but the bulk of everything is going to have to come from sieving because it's just going to take less time to get uh, some of the beginner stuff that we really, 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 really want in the beginning. Yes, it did require that many reallys, but... These, in order to get resources, require f flint mesh, not string mesh. String mesh is not good enough for them. No, they want the flint mesh. So flint mesh requires flint. We take a look at flint. Yes, you can sieve it, but if you look at the percentages, 12%, 15%, 20%. This only requires three. If you dropped three into this, not 100% chance. Not 100% chance. Not 100% chance. And even if you went all the way to diamond, not a hundred percent chance pretty close but not there so it's actually better just to craft for flint at least logically you know mathematically and especially if you're going to need a lot of it it's going to end up being a better deal for you so that's what we need to do but in order to do that we need gravel which means we need to hammer down a whole bunch of cobblestone fantastic let's grab our hammer oh that's that's such a huge huge amount of cobblestone to 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 hammer down and that's a lot. We could do it. It wouldn't take too incredibly long. But where are we going to get the cobblestone from? We need a cobble gen. Cobblestone generator. So that's our step one of this gigantic rabbit hole. There's actually a fork in the rabbit hole, which we're going to get to next. But the cobble gen is the first step. Then I'll explain what that other rabbit hole is. Okay. Cobble generation. Now we're going to take this one step further which I thought I had some chests already made, but I guess I don't. We're going to make ourselves a chest. We'll put it on top because... Oh. Uh, you need to move. More accurately, you need to move. Uh, and we're going to move... We're just going to slide these two up. We're going to switch your positions because it'll work that way. Yeah, there we go. So it does output to the top. So it will slowly fill this up, but we can always upgrade it later. I mean, it does have the other versions here. It's all out of order, though. Like, here's the regular cobble generator. Then you have tier 2 and tier 3. Then you go all the way over here, tier 4, tier 5. Like, I don't... Whatever. Anyway, so you get the idea. Now we get cobble. At least I don't have to do the whole right-click on the grass thing. That's really kind of irritating. And here's where we were getting lava. Takes so long with just a torch. I somehow had a flint and steel before. I'm not sure where I got it from, but I did get one. I think it might have been a loot bag or something. But now I can't find it. So I can't light a fire under this or anything like that. And I don't know. It just takes so long. Anyway, so there's our cobble. Okay, so we just have to wait a while. I'm pointing at the wrong thing. So here's our cobble. And we're, <laughs> we just have to wait a while to get everything we need in order to 
hammer down everything. And in the meantime, this is the other rabbit hole, okay? This is that other rabbit hole I was talking about. I want to get, if I can, the automatic hammer. I don't know if it requires power, but I'd like to find out if we can make it. Okay, finally got nine copper. It took so much sifting. Look how much iron we have. Copper is so rare with the flint mesh. It is our iron mesh even, because I, I had the iron one, but it's still ridiculous, unbelievable. But anyway, just had to mention that. But we finally got enough to make one block of this. Oh, market. Yeah, I was looking for the market. The uh, um, I forget what mod it's from, but there's another market you can buy stuff with emeralds. Um, this one? I think it's this one, right? Yes. Okay, so now I have those, but now I need to get the Kamenite or whatever. Now you get eight for one of these recipes, which is good, but it means I need six Kamenite bricks which means I need 24 Kamenite bricks, which means 24 of these, which means a lot of clay and a little bit of sand, but I can, well, no, you get eight. So really, I get two bricks. So I only need three, technically. Huh, okay. I just need some clay and some sand. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. I'm hoping, <laughs> which is most likely not going to be the case, but I'm hoping I'll be able to do this without any power. I'm just almost certain this is going to require power of some kind. Um, ground, cool. Okay, it's gonna need some kind of embers rekindled power, most likely. Um, but let's put it down. It's kind of interesting how it looks too. <laughs> it's just like a, a <laughs> an arm. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's just in case it like auto detects a block in front of it or something. Um, let's just do this. No, okay, I didn't think so. Uh, but it does look like it's a real world thing and not just a machine. So it doesn't have an inventory, which means it's not going to be that automatic. I'm going to have to, you know, use an automated system to put the blocks in front of it, which is not exactly what I'm looking for. But we're gonna. Just see if there's a way that I can very simply do this. But most likely it's going to be something more complicated. And I don't even know anything about Embers Rekindled. I have no idea how to work the mod, period. Let alone how to generate power or anything like that. I just don't have enough experience with it. So I don't... I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Item transfer, that's cool. Looks like there's maybe some generators or something down here. Yeah, like maybe this guy, Ingem, Ig Ig Ignum, Pressure Refinery, Ember Injector, Automatic Breaker. That's interesting. Probably need one of those too. Well, I don't know. It depends. This guy probably pops it off after he's done breaking it down. But I don't know. Um, auto. I'm going to look for auto machines. Maybe there's a different auto breaker. Or auto breaker, auto <laughs> auto breaker, uh, different uh, automatic uh, hammer of some kind. I thought there was something that automatically broke it down, but I don't remember what it would be called, and I wouldn't know how to find it. All right, so I've gone a little bit further in just kind of general directions. I went here. I was looking for the auto hammer thing, but I can't find one that doesn't use traditional power. Like obviously you have the crushers and the pulverizers and all that nonsense that uh, that you always use. I was trying to find something else. The sag mill. Sag mill is actually one of my favorites. But I, I couldn't do it, so I just, I'm, I'm crushing everything by hand for now. Uh, and we're gonna move on with the whole mob farm concept. Now, the mob farm, the idea behind it is that, uh, what is it, gamma? No, beta, okay. Is that they want you to get one of each of these. All right, and that's all good and well. But as you saw, I have these guys pulled up. That's a lot of iron, which means that's a lot of smelting. And then little hint in there when I went to this and you saw the iron furnace pulled up. Um, 
that's what I want to kind of do. I want to get as many of these as I can. I see as many of these. I want to go as far as I can with as many of them as I can. Um, up to maybe three or four, five maybe. Uh, and I want to take it as far as I can with the furnaces. And that way we complete a few quests and we get better furnaces. So, yeah, that's a thing. Also, I made uh, the sledgehammer. I didn't know that Tinkers added in their own version of the hammers. So I've been using these guys like the whole time. And this guy's so much better. But I have learned the error of my ways and we have switched. I've, I'm going to break this guy at some point though, just to get him out of my inventory and not make him completely useless. But you get the idea. Anyway, so the furnaces is fur, furni. Fur, furnace, fur, we're we're going to say furni because it's cooler that way. This guy. Okay, so it's a regular one surrounded by iron. This is surrounded by gold, I'm guessing. Okay, I don't know if I have that much gold. Diamond is more difficult, takes four. Eh, the emeralds I think we have. If we can get the diamond, we can get the emerald. This one we can't get, and this one we certainly cannot get. I don't have any way to get ender pearls yet. We haven't gone to the end. Once we do, we can easily upgrade our emerald furnaces. So let's see how many diamonds, because I just did a big batch. I did a huge batch of these guys right here. You see how much of this stuff that I have. Uh, I broke down five stacks, I want to say. Four or five stacks, I think, of cobblestone. And I, and I dropped them all through the sieves. And that's pretty much what we ended up with at the end of it. So I can certainly get one of each of those. I'm going to smelt up a bunch of this. We have a bunch of gold, so I'm not worried about that. We're going to take one of them and make it an emerald. The, the, the others will just be gold, I guess. And we'll kind of go with, I guess, I'm not sure how many we should have. Uh, and we're gonna put the furni, cause I don't want them in there anymore. I want more than one. So let me go ahead and make a few more. I'm just gonna grab a stack. I'm not sure how many I want. We want six? Maybe we want six of them. Six seems like a good number, right? We'll do six. Uh, and then basically we'll have one, two, three, and then stack them one, two, three. So, yeah. But it's going to take a while to get the first bits. All right, so furnaces have been gotten. The only issue is that they're not actually completed, which is really unfortunate because it means I can't actually complete the diamond one. I didn't do it in the proper steps, so we're going to have to wait until I get more diamonds to make a diamond one. Which is really, it's really, really unfortunate. But it is what it is. I mean, what, what what can you do? You really can't do much right now. Just to make sure it doesn't like give us both. I didn't think so. I didn't think so, because then picking it up last time would have given us all of them, but it didn't. Oh, bummer. I only have one diamond now. I mean, we're going to get more, you know, of course, but it's just... The principle of the matter, you know? Why would you think people wouldn't go straight to the highest tiers? Why wouldn't you account for that in your mod creation? I, I don't understand, but okay, whatever. Now, we gotta move on. And we do have some iron. We're able to get iron fairly easily with this stuff. I still kinda wanna go through and fill this whole thing with iron stiffened mesh. Uh, because processing would be really cool in that case and it would be really neat. How much of these do I have? I do have over a stack. I know there was one thing I wanted to buy, but I don't remember what it was. It was in the rewards. I already have this one. It's complete. What? My magnet. I already completed it. Hold on. What? I already have the magnetize, which, by the way, I can now put on. And pink. Yeah, there we go. So now things should be magnetized to me. Yep, there they go. That's cool. It's a little weird how it works, but whatever. So I don't know. It says that it's not completed. Or can you do it multiple times? I guess you can do it multiple times. 
Because there's a level to it or something. There's a way to get into the thing that I just opened. I don't remember what it is, though. There's a there's a keybind for it. I also have my ability... This guy. The ability bottle, which I'll open it. Yeah, okay. So it's level one out of five. So you can complete it multiple times to get multiple levels. That's interesting, but... I feel like some things probably shouldn't have multiple levels. Like, magnetize should be a one-level thing. Why, why are you going to make people do multiple levels of it? That doesn't make much sense to me. But whatever. Uh, moving on. <laughs> I have five more gold. I didn't realize this. Uh, go. There we go. See, that's a bunch faster. See, the slowest one, like the iron and the gold, they didn't seem too much faster, but this was a quick jump up to the highest tiers. So, yeah. I was hoping I was going to see a big jump. A good night, or good morning, or good something. Anyway, so yes, we can crush things. I want to finish getting all of the stiffened mesh in here, uh, but I need a lot of iron for that, and then I want to go ahead and make the iron spikes that are part of the next thing that we want to do, that is the mob farm. Uh, so we just need a lot of iron, because I'm going to need more than one of these. But we'll also drop mobs XP, which is really, 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 really good, because we have the ability bottles, and we want to be able to get a lot of skills that way. Uh, mobs killed by spikes do not count as player kills, though. Which means I, I'm not going to use those. I need them to count as player kills to get the loot bags, right? Or do you not need those? We're going to have to test that. We're going to have to test it just to see what happens... See if they ever drop loot bags without it being a player kill. I'm not sure if they do or not. Well, here we are. I have my mob farm over here. This is not the type of mob farm that I wanted to make sure I had by the end of the day. And we're not quite done yet. Uh, I want to make sure that's clear. But I did decide to go ahead and do this a little bit. And the biggest reason for this is that I want a few mob drops. There's a few mob drops that are going to help us... Uh, actually with the other farm uh, there's a few things namely the biggest thing I think there's a couple other but I can't remember what they are right now but the player trap the skeleton skull you need a skull some kind of a head in order to make these and I want to make a bunch of well maybe not a bunch I think four and will probably be good so we don't need a whole lot but I did want to go ahead and remake our mob farm just so you can see that I do know how to make one you know, one of the rudimentary beginner stage ones rather than the one you saw, which was actually over in that direction. I know directions are hard to tell in this, but uh, it was actually over there. But this guy right here is much, much better. Uh, and it's more protected. That one was one, I just kind of threw it up real quick and I paid the price for it is basically what that was. But this one is a lot better. It's got the fence all the way around, except for right here. I suppose I could get hit and get knocked off the edge, which would really be unfortunate. Um, yeah, right here. I'm still not being hit off the edge, actually. It would take a lot of force to knock me all the way past this point. So we're still mostly protected. But anyway, as you can see, we can't really go anywhere back here. We're, we're stuck. So even if we get hit, it's not going to hurt that much. Uh, if there is an explosion, we will lose some wood and it could cause a big, big, big problem. But I really like the way blood wood looks. And I, I, re I really like... How it looks with stone brick slabs. We're, we're probably going to use this combination of stuff. I want to throw something else into the design. But this might be the design we use overall for the base. At least part of it. Um, but the biggest reason for the slabs here is because bloodwood slabs, they are burnable. Even though it says in the tooltips, fire resistant planks. They're not supposed to be able to burn. But they do. They do burn and disappear. So I used stone so that way we wouldn't have to worry about it. These other ones, they are fire resistant. They will not disappear after, if they're set on fire. So we're good when those other mobs that light things on fire come around. Because, yeah, they'll light these on fire, but they're fire resistant. These are full planks. Um, up above, that's all full planks. And down over here, the only real worry is the fences. I don't know if the fences will burn, and if they burn, will they disappear? I don't know. Uh, but it's really not that big of a deal. I got plenty of backup fences um, just to keep the look the same. Is it, if it happens, it'll probably be pretty rare. But anyway, 
So what I wanted to do is go ahead and just kind of chill out for a little bit, see if we can get some guys to spawn, maybe get a few heads so we can make our traps because they're actually really, really, really cheap to make these particular ones. I also want to do, uh, what is it, Dark Utilities. That's one of my favorite mods. Dark Utilities is such a good mod. Here we go. Um, but I also want to make some of the vector plates, which I don't have much of this, but I think you can use coagulated blood right there. There it is. Uh, I think you can use that. And there is a chance when attacking with this, let's, um, uh, here, I think this tells you that this thing's Bloody Mary deals bonus damage depending on the amount of health already lost by the target. Also a chance to drop a coagulated blood for each hit. One gives me eight. I don't need that many, depending on how commonly that happens, how often that happens. We may or may not have to worry about, you know, making a tinker smeltery and jumping inside to get some blood or anything like that. We won't have to do anything like that, I don't think. Pretty sure we're going to get enough coagulated blood from this. And even if we don't, we're just beating the crap out of some people. So why not keep going until we do have enough? So just, just something to keep an eye on. I'm going to stick around here. That should be far enough away. There we go. There's one at least. Uh, that's actually a chicken guy too. Like there's a chicken. That is perfect. If I can kill that guy, let's go over here before more things spawn actually. If I can kill this guy without killing the chicken. Oh, All, you're only a chicken. Where did you come from? And why are you spawning on wood? Come here. Hold on. Come here, buddy. There you go. Oh, you're a demon chicken. You're an evil chicken. Why are you attacking me? Seriously, dude. It does. Oh, you're an abyssal craft regular chicken. Ouch. Okay, fine. You are. Yeah, you're a demon chicken. You're a demon chicken in disguise. You tricked me. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's a mini zombie. I thought it was one of those. I thought it was a zombie on top of a chicken. If we get lucky and get another one of those, because that's what happened last time. If we get another one of those, we can kill the zombie on top. We get the chicken. And we get eggs, which is a, kind of a big head start on the whole spawning animal side of things, which we need to build one of these far enough away at, uh, which is kind of interesting. It's a, it's, a, it's a pretty big boost, but it is what it is. We'll work with whatever we get and i'm just gonna go kill some people for a while see what happens all right so now we are pretty much good to go i have all six player traps i think i said four before but i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it three wide but two deep so we're gonna have a two by three killing chamber and the reason i'm gonna do that is because i like i like odd but Having an even number front to back doesn't bother me as much. It just doesn't. I don't know why. But side to side, like from the direction that we're mostly going to be looking at it, I want it to be an odd number. So that's why we have the six in there. But it doesn't really matter too much because what we need to do is actually start clearing this stuff out, letting some light in. And I think actually what we're going to do, the way we're going to do this first... So just go ahead and torch it for now. And then we're going to slowly break it down. We're going to add to it. We're going to change some things around. And that way, we'll be good to go. Now, I'm not exactly sure how I want to do this. Like, I have a couple of ideas of, of what I want it to look like right in the beginning. Um, but the back part not so much all I know is that I do like dark utilities we're going to be using some of the vector plates I've made 64 of them so far they're actually pretty easy to make so it's not a big deal if we need more than that because uh, that basically gives us no more than like an 8x8 eight eight, which is not quite enough um, well maybe it is I don't know uh, but uh, that's the idea now what we're going to do though is right here in the front this basically this, well, wow, well, this basically, basically the area I just broke down is going to be like part of the killing chamber. I almost fell through that. That's not what I want. Um, I'm, I'm covering it up. I'm just kind of do it in sections. So I'm not going to lose track of what I want to do. But let's see. Because uh, you can't actually put these things. They, they're, they're not blocks themselves. 
so you can't actually put them on slabs like this but yeah the front part of this is going to end up being there so th i guess this is the center so we'll go here here And I, I want to be able to see into it while they're dying because, I don't know, you call me whatever you want because of that. You're a little morbid. You're a weirdo. Now, I'm pretty sure it's a pretty common thing for most people. They want to be able to see the mobs they're, you know, messing with die. Uh, so that's a thing. But the player traps, and we're not going to lay them all down right now, but basically this is going to be the kill chamber. And I said we're not going to lay them down. I mean, no. We're putting them down for demonstration purposes, but I'm going to pick them back up because they do indeed hurt us too. Ouch. Case in point. There we go. Uh, so that's the basic idea. And then we're going to have, I guess, kind of like this. I don't know if we're going to have glass all the way around or just on the front. I'm thinking just on the front is going to be uh, what we want. Okay, I do get them back. Good. Uh, yeah, and that's why we need to break down the rest of this too. So I'm going to build the kill chamber out. And then after the kill chamber is done, uh, we're going to have... I want to break this out to change out these. Well, maybe not. I don't know. We're going to see. Um, uh, let's, actually, i tell you what. Let's do this. Let's just do it that way. Because that makes things so much easier. And everything's broken. I forgot about excavate. Uh, so that's the deal. I can do it here too. But I don't want to do it here or here. Because I think that might be too close and you'll start destroying some of the island. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe not. I don't... I think there's parts of it that are connected all the way through. And I have my magnet's eyes on, so that's a thing. Let me get rid of some of this stuff in here. Oh, I clicked you. I don't want to go in there. You guys, however, can. Not the loot bags. Look, coagulated blood. I told you we'd get enough. We have way more than enough. Just say. Uh, then we'll put the loot bags in our little thing over here. Good, good to go. Now, what I want to do, basically, is we're going to have this kind of a scenario. But it's going to be three high. And then we're going to have glass on the front. Um... I'll do that later. And we go here, here, and we go up one over here. And then what I want, because this is where they're going to fall down from, right? So then we're going to have, I get, I'm not sure how wide it's going to be. This is minimum, minimum of three on each side. Like this, but then it's gonna go pretty far back. I forgot we have a builder's one. Oh, we're, we're building all the way down there too. I'm gonna have to dig a lot of it out actually. That's okay. I'll make it work. And probably one more. Yeah, just like so. Sure. Uh, there is so much to dig out below. <laughs> There's a lot of it to dig out. I know this. Okay. But that's the basic idea. And then we're going to have plenty of space for them to spawn. Now, the question I'm toying with is whether or not to use dirt here instead of this. I think this is going to be fine. We don't need cursed earth. And that's why we would use dirt is because we could turn it into cursed earth. I don't need spawns that fast. I think this is going to be fine. If it turns out we need more, we are certainly going to get more. Uh, I'll, I'll see. It'll be really hard to turn off in order to change it out all out for dirt, but it'll be okay. Uh, it won't be the biggest problem in the world. So I think we're going to start with this and then we'll change it over later if we need to. But I don't think we're going to need to. I think we're going to be okay. But let me go ahead and kind of dig out the beneath area below here that I kind of <laughs> used the builder's wand on and kind of clean it up a little bit. Maybe add in the glass and some more design to the sides of this thing. And then once we're ready to finalize and close it up, then I'll bring it back. Wow, so much to dig out. So much to dig out. And here it is in all of its glory, the mob farm.
Now, at the moment, obviously, there aren't that many mobs spawning. Like I said, I could very well change it out for Cursed Earth, and we would get a lot more. But I'm feeling like we really don't need it. There might be instances where we just don't quite have enough for some particular thing, uh, and we have to wait a little while, which will be irritating. But overall, for most of the supplies, we're going to have a huge overabundance, and there is no need to spawn that many mobs all at that kind of a time. It's just not necessary. Now, this stuff right here, these are our drawers so far. Now, things like the, uh, the epic loot bag, or any of the loot bags, really, they're going to have to come out. Uh, well, have to is strong words, but... Uh, should come out and go directly into, say, our bag storage thing here, which we are going to end up doing with filters and such. Such. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how I want to do that. I may just attach a transfer node to here and put it right here because there are flat ones that can fit in between block uh, blocks. So that might work. I'm not sure if that'll work on the front face like that, but hmm, we'll find out and we'll see. But... Uh, that's trim, flex, okay. So there are a few things that need to change still, and there are definitely items that are not quite in here yet. There are things that need to be in here. Not too many, actually. That surprises me. But there's going to be more. There's going to be plenty of items that just aren't going to fit in the drawers, how many drawers we have, because... So I think we have 16 back there. We have more than 16 different types of items. This is just the ones we've gotten so far. I don't know if that's it. Probably not, but maybe. Who knows? I, I, don't, I don't know. But we just got to keep an eye on it and keep uh, adding and changing out the drawers and stuff like that until we finally have the perfect setup. But for the moment, as you can see, it is functional. I just got to keep an eye on it, change things as necessary, but it's done. We have our mob farm, and honestly, this might be one of my favorite mob farms ever. This might be my favorite mob farm ever, and the reason I say that is because it looks really friggin' cool. Um, I'm actually really proud of this. I don't know how I came up with the design. It's one of those things that just kind of formed as I was building it, and it worked out beautifully. Because not only do we have a viewing window, which, by the way, is made from dark glass from Dark Utilities. Uh, that's why it blocks light. It's probably... Oh, what am I talking about? <laughs> dark Utility. Oh, my goodness. Um, extra Utilities, too. It's dark glass from Extra Utilities, too. Um, it's one of the easiest to get. This guy requires an alloy smelter. Uh, this one requires the dark glass in itself from the same mod. Uh, other things may block light, but I have a feeling they all kind of sort of require more resources this one i got worried about until i came across that the recipe needed this guy right here the wither dust and i was like i have been getting some of those bones from you know the the, the mob farm the, the mob farm we had before so it was working out okay i got a, i got enough of those to get the front pane of this done and that's good here it looks like there are gaps in it but those are just slabs and those of you who have been around a while know that the slabs do block light even though it looks like they shouldn't at least in the current version they do that may change at some point in the future but we're good for now uh but yeah i i like i like the way it looks it's really really cool i'm pretty proud of that let me just know let me know what you guys think though uh right up top here it looks like there might be a bigger gap but there's not those are just stairs I'm playing with going the, the stair route around the outside of this thing completely. I'm not sure if I want to go there or not. I haven't decided yet. I might just leave it as it is because it's working and everything's good for now and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, that's the basic idea. We got our mob farm completely set up. Very, very happy with it. I hope you guys like it too because I am I'm pretty proud of it. I'm pretty proud of the first iteration too, the, the, the beginner version. Which wasn't anything special, but the design was pretty good. And uh, this one right here, I'm, I'm definitely thinking this is going to be the theme for pretty much everything in our base. This, the, the stone brick and the blood, uh, blood wood. I think that's going to be it. It'll be pretty good. 
But anyway, that's about all the time I have for the episode. If you liked it, please do hit that like button and subscribe to see more. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.